Today on Logan Lee's Adventures, we go all the way up the iconic Mount Namsan overlooking all of South Korea's capital city of Seoul and then we make new local friends whom we go out on wholesome eating adventures with. There's something so innately Asian about liking banana milk. Like, back in the Netherlands, I was in an Asian grocery store and I saw this product. I was like, ooh, banana milk. And so I was just so curious, so I tried it out and I was obsessed. And then now here, every single convenience store, 7-Eleven, whatever, you name it, G25 has, G24, has banana milk and it's so tasty. Ah yes, the fine taste of banana and milk together. I don't even know what this is called, like a little tram, trolley, so we need to take this all the way a little bit up and then we can take a cable car to go all the way up Namsan Mountain. So this is the nice view from it. We're going on the Namsan cable car. You can hike up this mountain as well, but look at the views from this cable car, especially in autumn. It looks so picturesque and movie-like, like all the modern buildings and then all the yellow, orange, brown, gold, red leaves, top trees, and you're just soaring high above and it looks like you're going even above the buildings. Once you arrive to the top, there's this whole deck. You can see there's this cute duck sculpture, which looks quite funny. And then there's a lot of like stuffed animals, toys, sculptures, and just little keychains and love locks attached to all the railings above here. It's really super cute and romantic. It is a very romantic spot, especially if you come on a day like this where it's sunny, the skies are just like not cloudy, the sun is out, and then you can add a love lock. But I mean, We've been to so many places with love logs. How many times can we add our own love log? But if you want to do that here, you can definitely buy the locks at the stores itself, right on top here. This is adorable. Look at all these love locks here. It's all over on top of Nassan Park. so cool so mount namsan as you know it today it used to be all this were fire pits so these were like beacons that during the chosen dynasty where there was like an invader and they wanted to warn different like the different forts around they would light these up as a beacon to show that there's an invader coming and then Seoul, this is like the beacon of the capital because Seoul back then was like the last place that it would get light up and so then you can see very far into the distance the beacon. Mount Nam San is such an icon for Seoul. It's like part of the Seoul skyline like no matter where you are in Seoul you know that this is a huge symbol this radio tower right here is a huge symbol of the city and it's really cool to be up on top and looking out onto the city but also just to enjoy it on a brisk fall day like today and the whole premise is quite large there's this little Tokyo tower looking radio tower this is the view of Seoul I mean, come on, 10 million people living in this city, thriving, look at this view, right? Like come here, schedule your time here on a clear day like this. You will not miss out. We've been waiting for a day like this on our trip for so long just to come to Mount Nam San because other days were a little bit more overcasty or cloudy, but we wanted this picturesque day like this. And look, you can look into this little telescope and look out into the city and see all parts of Seoul from here. One of the main attractions of Mount Nam San is the breathtaking panoramic view of Seoul it offers. The mountain stands at 262 meters, that's about 860 feet above sea level and it just provides the spectacular vistas of the city especially during sunrise and sunset. Now we're not here at either times 
but we're here like right when it opens because Mount Hamsan gets quite, you know, it's a very popular place amongst the locals. So we'll get a lot of crowds later on during the day. So if you want the place like here where it's calm and you can explore without feeling claustrophobic, definitely come early in the day like we are right now. You can also access the End Souls Towers observation deck for even higher view. And Namsung is often referred to as the center of Seoul due to this central location, which has historical and symbolic importance in Korean culture. I kind of touched on this earlier, but Mount Namsan offers several hiking trails, making it a great spot for outdoor enthusiasts. You'll see lots of runners here, lots of people exercising. These trails wind through the lush forest that surrounds it and lead to the mountain's peak, or leads all the way down into the city. It's a lovely escape from the hustle and bustle of Seoul. I hope you can totally see why autumn is my favorite season, period. I mean, autumn in Seoul is even more special, I find, because of the foliage here. Like, you just don't get this level of colors and just bursts of vibrancy in some other countries that I've visited. And then here is just so celebrated and people love it so much. So you feel the, like just the autumn love for the season. And the views as well. Gosh. So this is the walk down Mount Amazon. So you can hike up, walk down, or both ways. Took the cable car to experience going up. And now we're walking down to get both experience. The colors. Gosh. I was so scared that I would be missing the autumn foliage on my trip to Seoul because with this already like mid November. So it's already November 11th, which is Singles Day, and they celebrate pretty hard here, Singles Day. But since it's mid November, I thought that, you know, all these beautiful colors and leaves would be gone because in Canada, in Toronto, and in Amsterdam, in the Netherlands, both places that I live are, well, grew up are like by this time gone done autumn but here autumn is still in full swing all along the way there's different observation decks that you can just stop by just take a peek out into the city and enjoy the leaves yo my heart is so filled up right now because of the beauty that surrounds this especially the season I'm sorry, but I don't think I can visit Seoul in any other season now. Like, this this is the season for me. Okay, maybe I would love to visit in the spring because then everything is just in bloom as well. Like, the shoulder seasons. I think the shoulder seasons is the best. Adding to the historical and cultural significance of Mount Namsang, so this is one of the four major mountains surrounding Hangyang, the capital city of Joseon Dynasty or Joseon. So that was what Seoul was before Seoul. And this mountain is supposed to hold a great energy because it is equivalent to a phoenix of the south and inner city hill in accordance to feng shui practices. This whole part is actually considered Seoul Forest. So Seoul Forest surrounds all of Mount Namasan. It's gorgeous. I know I keep saying that, but y'all, trust me, trust me. I mean, do you see this? Do you see this? This is why I travel. This is why I love vlogging because I can show this, I can share this, I can capture this, I can document this and look back on this. Like these are the memories that I want to remember when I'm 80 years old, looking back and thinking about my time in Seoul. <sighs> Look how red it is. Mm. 
There's so many different trails all around Seoul Forest and Namasan Mountain that I would love to just come here, live in Seoul for just a month, a period of time to explore all these trails. This is another trail called Seoul Gil. I just saw it off of the main pathway, so we figured why not to just diverge. Look how cute this bus stop is. It's in an old TV. That's so adorable. That's 3D, y'all. Living in the future, y'all. The future. This cool curved street is like. Ooh, ooh, ooh. To our next bite joint, but we're crossing this really cool crosswalk where you can cross from all sides, as you can see. 360. And surrounded by very futuristic, cool buildings. These older buildings don't have elevators, so to get things up and down, we use this mechanism. So now on top, they're loading it up. And then they're gonna bring it down. Yeah, maybe half and half. What do you think? Okay. I think one's two stars. I love Korean restaurants because everything is self serve so we can just get our own cups for free water. That shit does not happen in the Netherlands. Bring in the plates, just some. Pickles that we want, and guess what? An apron! Oh my goodness! So we can get our own apron because the food is messy. And there's a free charging phone station here, too. So useful! Right, let's get this party started. It's official. I'm ready for my tepoki. Y'all know me, I love wearing beige, I love wearing cream color, whites. So when you're eating something, as flashy and saucy as tteokbokki. This is, these are essential. And it's not just this restaurant that has it. Many restaurants, most restaurants in Korea has this too. You either just ask for it or you just see it and then you just pop it up. Egg starter. Samida. Damn, this dish is huge. They're not playing around, y'all. In this bowl, we have some dumplings with cheese. Look at this. This is crazy. Mm. It's so crispy. It's hot too. Mm. This is a good good. We have some fish cakes, which I love. Right amount of spice as well. 
also have some sausage here. Let me show you up close. We also have some spam or more fish cakes. Rice cake itself, the star of the dish. Okay, let's see if me and you room can finish this. This is a huge bowl. Outrageously huge, but I love it. This is the type of portion size that I'm talking about. Y'all, we got two times spicy and it actually goes up to four times spicy, which I am mind blown about because it's so freaking spicy already. Like my tongue is burning in the best of ways. Like I love that taste, but they, they do not play around here, y'all. After our gigantic meal, we are still in the Donde Mon neighborhood. So we went to the Donde Mon Design Plaza, also known as DDP. This is Donde Mon Design Plaza, which is too cool and futuristic. It was designed and created by Zaha Hadid, which you can see her signature curve in the architecture. And you're surrounded by like this futuristic city and actually this is considered the fashion part the fashion neighborhood of seoul even though i think all of seoul is like super fashionable everyone is just so good looking and well dressed to the nines but here whether it's shopping whether it's just people watching for fashion week this is where seoul fashion week happens fashion happens here in ddp if you remember from my Seoul Part 1 Day 1 vlog back a few weeks ago, uh, if you haven't watched that yet, definitely watch that out because this is a whole part of this journey and this adventure in South Korea's capital. We were already here at the DTP, but it was nighttime, so everything was very glowing and still very futuristic. But I wanted to come back, I said, during the daytime to take in the architecture, take in the light and how it reflects off the buildings, and now to go in and explore inside. It looks like I'm entering in a spaceship, isn't it? <laughs> Once you go inside, it's nothing less but spectacular. I mean, outside is already ultra cool, but inside, as you can see, it is phenomenal. From the stairwells to then the ceiling with all this like light illuminated books to these screens and seats. And then there's also this fashion exhibition that goes on. So there's free exhibitions going on. There's quite a few. This one is a photography for fashion photography shot at the DDP. So all this is shot, you can see, right outside and inside the building and then these stairwells these stairwells just amaze me so much because they look so loopy and they twirl around and just the way that it's been built as well with the light illuminating it is just very cool to wander the multiple levels multiple floors on DTP and each floor has its own unique thing you can just weave in and out and everything is just open and there's art everywhere everywhere here oh and also there's like this little rooftop here uh, sometimes they have light exhibitions and right now not much going on but that's okay because you can see more of the architecture and how cool it is and then in comes another cool exhibition look at this all this work on display definitely take your time make time when you're here for this the free exhibits here at DDP is pretty awesome. So right now in this exhibition hall, they have examples of designs for the future of sustainability. So different artists, different graphic designers have come up with their ideas of sustainable future through really cool designs. You can wander through different floors of the DDP, all open to the public and just popping into different exhibitions and seeing what they're all about. It's really cool that it's all free. I can honestly wander around here for ages and I definitely did. I 
forgot what time it was by the time I came out. As you can see, there's some illuminations going on. And then I wander around the neighborhoods. Look at this main character house. Definitely a main character lived there. And then I wander around the DDP to soak in this neighborhood and just see all the architectural delights here before we switched up. And then we went to a different neighborhood because later on, very soon, we're going to meet up with our friend Youngji and Kevin, who are both locals, Koreans, who are living right here in Seoul. <laughs> We just had such delicious braised chicken with glass noodles. It was the noodles were so chewy. The braised chicken was perfection. And you saw how big that plate was. So we went with our new friends. We made new friends. And now we're in Daiso with our friends. So Daiso is this, I guess it's equivalent to a dollar store, but in Korea, like a Korean dollar store. But the thing is, it's like dollar stores in Canada growing up, they were really low quality items, but here the items look like they're on Ikea level quality. For like, this is so cheap. This is 2000 won, which is, I don't know, like a buck. So yeah, like one euro, so like a dollar equivalent. They have so many different things here. I mean, I'm crazy in the kitchen, so I love kitchen items. And already in this section, you have everything. Look at this avocado peeler. Oh no, this shrimp peeler. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, so to compare, back home, they have so many cool things here. I need bigger luggage. That's the key. Bigger luggage to bring these things back. So we had to check out Daiso. All kinds of, all kinds of things. Ah, oh, true. Now, all the after dinner and our little Daiso shopping, we can't just cap off a night like that. We had to go and grab a little bit tea, a little bit dessert at this really cute cafe with our friends. So cute. It smells so good. <laughs> what did I get? Oh, uh, this one. Stress free. Stress free. Stress free. <laughs> <laughs> A little stress. Ooh, anti aging. Oh. <laughs> you want to slow your aging? Slow the aging. <laughs> Oh yeah. So you have to filter like this. Ah. And then you sip it and do it again. Oh, cool. Mm. What are those things for? Oh, um, a jujube. Like dried jujube and like some beans. Okay. Oh. Do you put it empty or is that No, so just like, so like a snack. Yeah. And then this powder thing? It's for how long you do Yeah, yeah. Oh. Like a bit, like of everything here. <laughs> 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 
this one. This has a lot of pluses. So I yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. This is why you picked this. Just whatever. Are you? Everything. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> are you fat? Like, like, oh. like do you have some? Yeah. 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 Do you have some? Yeah. Yes or no? Are you fat? Are you fat? No, sorry. <laughs> no, it's, it was just a question. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, so uh, you have to know. No. Yeah. Yeah. What if I say yes? No, yes. Then it goes like this. Do you have a lot of sweat? Yes. Yes? <laughs> Are you. Yeah, uh, like timid? Are you too oh, much, like, shy? No. Shy? No? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how that relates to the sweating. Can you eat a lot? <gasps> yes. Yes? Then you have to have this tea. Oh. But if you went... Like, you have an uh, indigestion problem. Ah. No. Then you have to go this. Do you start works and can't finish it? <gasps> Yeah. Yeah? That seems to go. <laughs> Can you make friends easily? <laughs> yeah. I have to do yeah. anything. Yeah, that's what I have to Are you a perfectionist? No. No? Then you have to do this one. No, an orange one. Yeah, the orange symbol. It's like your horoscope for tea. <laughs> yeah, but the nice thing is that you have to oh, four glasses it? and you cannot go wrong. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna go for the peace of mind because then I got everything done. I think these are the type, like the uh, kind of general like uh, characteristic what you have. So like orange, okay, creative, yeah, creative, clever, organized, but easily being uh, exposed to stress, like stressful um, environments. Yeah. So. <laughs> Sounds like a water scope. Yeah. Like uh, just just get whatever with yeah. your plus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you can have a good sleep after you have this tea. Oh no, like, that's too early. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think yeah, I think it's almost like someone like this. Ooh, mistletoe. This What's one the... is clean skin. Mistletoe. So, uh, it means system. Uh, immune system. It fires your immune system. Ah. Healthier. Okay, I'll go for that. Just yeah. pick random. <laughs> 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 We're now at this cute traditional tea house with our friends and we're gonna try a bunch of different teas. I mean we have to try Korean tea when we're in Korea, right? Otherwise you get all the things with it. There's snacks too. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. You order Sanda. this and rice cake as well. Oh, wow. Wow. We never tried these before. What is it? Yeah. Uh, I guess it's tangerine. Yeah, yeah. It's a... It's a lot of food. 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 Rice snack as well. Dried persimmon. Mm. Don't know what it is. Dried apricot? Yeah, it looks like, 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 like Yeah, it looks like apricot. Yeah, right? Like I'm not kidding when we eat, we eat. So after tea and the desserts, we're off to more desserts, Korean bingsu. For those who haven't tried bingsu yet, it's a milk-based Korean shave ice dessert with sweet toppings that may include shop fruits, condensed milk, fruit syrup, red beans, you name it. And these are the two that we got. Look at our bingsu. So this is green tea and then this is the original bingsu with like the red bean on top of it. Mm. 
We're gonna continue eating the rest of the night away, but leave me a comment below on what you think of today's adventure and all the delicious dishes that we had in Seoul so far. As well as give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already because there will be more vlogs out of South Korea coming your way.